in Minecraft. <laughs> you can barely see me behind all the veggies. Anyways, uh, here we are with some more Create Stellar. And I have done a little bit of research. My eyes are kind of misaligned with these goggles. But uh, I'm going to get into some stuff. Um, not this mod. Ad Astra, that's the one. We're going to make one of these. An Astra Do. So basically, this is the guidebook to Ad Astra. And Ad Astra, funny, funny mod. You know, it's the mod that I have been looking for. So basically, we're looking for these ice shards, right? Notice how they're from Ad Astra? All right, well, they are come from an ore from cold planets. All right, that is only found deep in cold planets, basically. So like the moon um, is one of those planets. Um, also, there's other planets in space, obviously, and those are also cold some of them and they have ice shards so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into ad astra we're gonna make a rocket go to space and then we're going to meet the uh, lovely lunarians which in fact live on the moon like it sounds like <laughs> and uh yeah there's like lunar villages and stuff and yeah there's all kinds of fun things anyways reason i want at ice because you might you might be like why do you want ice shards well those are going to help me to get um the upgrades that i want to get for mystical agriculture which basically is like super op weapons and tools <laughs> and armor and uh i want it now i don't know how dangerous the other planets are but i think we're just gonna find out the hard way so, yeah, that's what I want to do. Anyways, we need steel for that. So, to make this, you need eight steel ingots. To make steel, you need um, this fluid, which is obtained from mixing molten iron and coal. Uh, so, we're going to need to do a bunch of different stuff. We're going to make a blaze burner. So basically, we're, we probably need to go... Um, to the nether yep because we need nether rack and stuff i haven't gone to the nether yet did i don't think i even made i don't think i even made a portal or anything so that is what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the nether i'm going to the nether shout out if you know that song <laughs> it's a bit of a throwback if you're a 2013 minecraft player Anyways, let's gather all this stuff. My game feels like it's a little bit shitty on the frame rates. So maybe I'll turn this down to like 12. We're not exploring at the moment, so I don't need like, um, I don't need high render distance necessarily. Let's see here. I'm going to put all this food in here. Don't want no rotten tomatoes. Oh my gosh, get rid of these rotten tomatoes. Um, I think I was putting flax in a different location, which is fine. Must have put those in a different place too. All right, we got carrots. You know what? Let's put some carrots and stuff with our animals. But first, let me sleep here. Um, I might also take some wheat over there. I don't know if I have left any wheat over there at the moment. Okay, so seed should be in here, and I think, yeah, the flax is in there as well. Mm, I don't know where I was keeping the those potatoes. Alright, let's put these seeds in here. Um, uh, never mind, I was gonna take the beetroots and use them. Instead of the wheat seeds, because chickens can take either. But I think I'm just going to use uh, wheat seeds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Making a lot of noises. Just had some food. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a little bit of wheat, because I don't remember whether or not I left wheat over here. Mm -hmm. 
I think the sun's going up, right? Alright. Yeah, yeah, we need more of these. We got plenty of uh, seeds, but you know, it never hurts to have more. Hello. Love being able to jump over the fences. It's so nice. <laughs> um, let's see here. Alright, I'm trying to think, uh, where do I wanna start? I wanted to build I wanted to build some buildings and stuff too. So I got like a bunch of stuff that I wanna make. I kinda made like a list of all the tasks that I would like to complete in this mod pack and it is a massive list. There's so much stuff. There's so much things to do. So this mod pack will probably keep us busy for a good while. Um, I'm not going to do a ton of like grinding off camera. I like to keep a lot of it um, on camera so you guys can be here with me for the journey. We can learn, we can explore. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but that apple up there needs to go. In my opinion. Alright, I need to expand this chest. Okay, so let's do that really quick. Now, that actually, there is storage. There's an expansion module for the chest. Mm -mm -mm. I can find it this so multiplies the number of sacks that can fit in a slot by two and then so on and so on and so on so i think that might be worth a portable jukebox heck yeah <laughs> i think that might be worth doing so let's make so okay so let's see we need eight logs and then an upgrade base which is five planks and four iron ingots so we'll get some of those this wool in here. Um, we need some logs and we'll use fur or planks. Actually, no, we have plenty of planks here. Alright, so we need an upgrade base. Make one of those. And then let's make one of these. No, what do we need for number two? Oh my god, we need blocks of iron. Alright, well, we need six ingots and um, two blocks of iron. Should be able to manage that. Oops. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. Let's do a number two upgrade. So now we can fit four in a slot. I think that might be okay. So let's do that. Sort the inventory. And then now we can put these rotten foods in here because there's room. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. Ooh, if I shift click it like shifts shifts out one stack. If I right click it takes half a stack. Hmm. If I left or right click with holding shift, it just takes out one stack. Hmm. That's cool. Anyways, we can store way more food in here now. So that's really cool. I might actually make a few more of those. Um these are for like, uh, let's see, these are for like moving stuff from storage inventory, feeding upgrade, compacting, actually, okay, okay, since we're on the subject of feeding the player, the backpacks mod, backpack, backpack, this one, I've been meaning to do upgrades for this one since all I did was the, oops, uh, the crafting table one, right? I would really like to do a feeding one. Um, and there's all these other ones. Keeps refilling stacks of selected items in the player's inventory. Um, there's a jukebox one. Uh, automatically smokes stuff. Um, let's see here. Magnets items into backpack at range. And there's also the stack upgrade. Backpack comes the indestructible, can't be spawn or fall into the void. Automatically swaps items in player hand for the one effective on the block entity when these are left clicked. Hmm. Keeps refilling stacks of slicker. Okay, 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 yeah. So I think if like I had a bunch of cobblestone in my inventory and I was placing cobblestone in my hand or in my backpack rather, um, and then I was placing it down, I think when I ran out in my inventory, it would refill from my backpack if I had more. Uh, we also got a stone cutter upgrade. 
Hmm. Makes it possible to put eye backpacks into the backpack. Oh my god, I actually kind of want this one. Oh shoot, you need another star for that. Of course you do. Oh, you can store energy in your backpack. That's cool. Um, voids items, makes backpack, pick up items. Smelting. Okay. I think... I think the only ones that I really want maybe are the feeding one and maybe like the stone cutter one and then the inception one, of course, but um, more options for when food gets. Oh, okay. That's for the upgraded one, the advanced one, I guess. But yeah, um, I want to do this one. So with leather, iron, string, um, let's see here. Where are my mob drops? They're over here leather string iron is for everything oh yeah we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the upgrades uh not the upgrades but we're gonna get to that ad astra steel making um later but for a moment i want to work on some upgrades here so let's make like two of those all right so i need glistering melon golden carrot golden apple ender pearl um mob drops are okay let's take Redstone, you, I think, what did this one need? A diamond? Yeah, it needed a diamond. Should only need three of those. And then, do we have any glistering melons? Nope. Alright, I think, oops. I think it needs, a uh, nuggets, yeah. Oh, I only have a few of those, but that's okay, we can make more. Ah keep clicking the chest instead of the table. <laughs> I should probably move that at some point. Yeah, we're gonna get a building. We need to build some buildings as well. There's a lot of stuff to do, like I was saying. <laughs> um, ender pearl. Wow, look at that. We just have one ender pearl. What was the other item I needed? A golden apple. I think I have some of those. Heck yeah, I do. Alright. So, we should have all those. Perfect. And... I might as well just do the full upgrade. There's no reason why not. Alright, let's pop that in. Alright, advanced feeding. So what you want to do is you want to filter it. Let's put all that there. Oh, we should get the quest book out. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't need another rabbit trail. Alright, um, let's see here. Keep my eye on the sun. <laughs> Uh, so block, only feed player, when player is hungry enough to only waste half hunger points of the food at most. Only feed player, when player is hungry enough to not waste any hunger points of food at all. Feed as soon as player is tiny bit hungry, waste quite a bit, quite a few hunger points of the food. I want to do that one. Uh, feed player immediately when hurt. You know, ignores the hunger setting. Do not consider health. I'm gonna do that one when I'm for hurt, but then for like feeding in general, I think I'm just gonna like only feed, uh, you know, using an, the most efficient that I can. Efficiency uh, that I can, there we go. All right, and we'll filter all these foods. What are these? I don't know what those are. Match durability. Match items. Okay. Allow. Okay, these are the ones we're allowing. Yes. Please. I believe that's set right. Okay. So, we'll have to do a little testing to see how it works, but I believe I have set that correctly. Alright. Boop, boop, boop. Put all this stuff away. And put this stuff away. Okay, and then I wanted to make... Like the stone cutter, maybe? Backpack from sneak right clicked inventory. Hmm. Interesting. So, hmm. So if there's like items in my inventory and I shift right click them, they'll just pop into my backpack regardless of whether it's open or not. Interesting. I'm tempted to get the stack upgrade as well. Hmm. 
has more filtering options. I don't want to do the smelting upgrade. It's kind of a waste. I've I used it in Create the Crafter. And to be honest, it was a bit too slow. Yeah, it was a bit too slow for me. Um okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um gosh, I'm having trouble deciding what I want to put in. We'll do a backpack. I really want to do this one, but I don't have a nether star right now. Maybe we'll just do... Oh my god, that's a lot of iron. Holy shoot. And we have a decent amount of iron, but my gosh, that's a lot of iron. Alright, we'll do it. Let's just do it. Quit whining and just do it. Uh, oh, I almost have enough of these. Let's just get 18 more. Oh my god, I did it again. Clicked on the chest. Oh, really? Grabbed 8 instead of 9. Do I even count? There we go. Um, that. And then we'll do these into blocks really quick. Those blossom trees keep dropping like petals and it keeps making me think that it's like snowing or something. I think we can do like a ton of upgrades. Um, I don't know if five is the limit. We do only have a diamond backpack. Alright. Okay, so much better. Now we've got some upgrades. Feeling good about that. Um, yeah, the question is, do I want to go to the nether? Do I want to build a building? Or <laughs> to like move all my stuff into? Or do I want to start making things for making steel? Because we're going to need, we're going to need like a basin. We're going to need like a mixer. Um... Oops, there we go. Oh, that's right, that's locked on me. Break it. There we go, it broke, finally. <laughs> I should have got my berries sooner. Yeah, there's so many so many things that I want to do. Um, I'm going to put on this chest plate that I had available. Okay. I'm going to put these berries away. So, um, let's grab another, another chest plate. Let's see here. Do I have any good ones in here? Iron forged. What is fire protection? Let's see. What do I have in here? Rebounding. Oh, interesting. Gravitational. Rebounding. Mm -mm -mm. Sort. There we go. Berserker's Fury. Become enraged with digging damage. Icy thorns. Who? Um. Iron forge causes a tool to lower the risk max. Six armor. I'm gonna do this one as icy thorns three. So the daggers and I get twenty percent entity gravity. All right. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in here. Perfect. Now. I think the plan is, oh my god, look how tall that sugar cane is. Holy shit. Let's go break that sugar cane. So I think what I'm going to do first is work on adding some create machines to make us steal for Ad Astra. Um, and I think to do that, I think we should go to the nether first. So. That was really fun. All right, I think we should go to the nether. So we need obsidian. So let's go and get some obsidian. Um, I don't remember. Do I have any locations in my mine shaft that have lava water already mixed? Or do I need to like bring some water down there? 
think I have some in my backpack. Oh, no, I don't. I will bring... Oh, wait, no. I think I have a bucket here at my base. Let me grab a bucket of water, and then we'll go down and we'll find some uh, lovely, beautiful lava, and we'll go beat it up with some water and a pickaxe. <laughs> um, let's see here. Do I have a pickaxe that's a diamond pickaxe already? No. I've got this one. I was going to enchant it. I don't think I got one from that dungeon. No. Okay, so I've got this one. We can use it. Alright. Um, let's see here. So, bucket of water. There we go. And let's go. Let's go check it out. Let's get some obsidian. Prosperity, yeah. Some of that. Not sure if I had um, any lava pools in this area. Let's see here. For a second I thought that was obsidian down there, but I think that might just be like soapstone or something. What are you? Silver? Very nice. Uh, yeah, you are. Oh, you're dark stone. Okay. Um, okay, there is also uh, something I wanted to check. Let's see here. Ultimine. It is the. Okay, so it is that key. Ah, nice. Someone in the comments, um, it is Chaos, uh, 8364 recommended that. Um, I didn't realize there was a mining tool tip, uh, in here, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. So now I can mine all of the ore in one go. I think, did that get it all? I have trust issues. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Ooh, I love how it glows. It's so cool. Alright, so yeah, that should that should be grabbing all of it now. So now I can mine my ores super fast. Oops, I hit the wrong key. There we go. Cool. Nice. Alright, so we just need hello. You guys see that? I don't know what that is about. Something is flashing over here. I gotta find out where my freaking um, lava pools are. Oh jeez, I hit the wrong key again. It's kind of far for me to like put my little finger. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Uh, let's see here. There's some cave over here. Let's go check it out. Oh god, we might get uh, buried here. Yeah, it's so weird. I see like, like this flashing little orb over this direction. Now, where the heck are the lava pools around here? Oh, hello. Oh god. It was a trap.
Father Donna. He wasn't so strong. Uh, yeah, that um, was a little bit easier than I anticipated. Let's just light it up in here. Let's see, what do we get? Um, did he drop that? Donna's in forged iron. Or sorry, iron forged uh, chest plate of gravity. Da, 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 plus seven armor. Hmm. Also reduce the durable burn time when set on fire. Oh, it's fire protection. My bad. <laughs> I was reading the description before I read the enchantment. Blocked attacks may harm the attacker. Reflective defenses. Oh, for um, a shield. I like that. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna pass on the seeds and stuff. And the rotten flesh. What does this one have? 14% knockback resist. Um, pass on the iron. Uh, pass on the horse armor. Take the schematic. I have no idea if I'm going to need those schematics, so I'm just kind of collecting them all. I haven't really decided whether or not like I'm going to be getting into those mods. Uh, but yeah, we just got a boss. Hello. Alright, I'm gonna pass on that. I'm trying to find a lava pit. Uh, a lava pool, rather. Alright. Trying to find a lava pool. Don't know where. Okay, there's some lava down here. So this is like the worst location, though. Um, What am I doing? Get me out of here. Get me out of this hole. I need to find one that's like accessible from my mine shaft, like pretty easily accessible. Nickel. I don't know if I need nickel yet, so I'm gonna leave it at the moment. Um alright, I definitely want iron. There's a distinct lack of enemies around here. I am on a difficulty. <laughs> yeah, of course, because that guy was there when I went by the spawner. It's just weirdly quiet and it's making me sketched out. <laughs> I think that's my staircase over there. I think I know where I am. Okay, um... Is there any iron around here? Where are you weird? Must be a light reflection. Oh, yep, it's gone now. I talked about it and it went away. I'm sorry, what the heck? Oh, it's one of those like little uh, encampment thingies. Okay, so there is lava down there. I might, I might just use that lava. It's somewhat accessible um, from my ladder area, or my staircase area, I guess. Okay, yeah, there's like a little fireplace. Cool. Oh, is that iron? Nice. But yeah. Oh, jeez. Not a good place to be in a hole. Uh, oh my god. Let me up. Um, yeah, I'll take these items. I'll take those as well. Got some bamboo. And a furnace with nothing in it. I'm gonna pass on the fletching table. Okay. Yeah, let's check out this area. My dudes. Gonna need y'all to clear out. Alright. What is that? Lead? I think I'm okay. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I've been kind of wandering and rambling. The heck? I love when creepers drop their chest plate. It's my favorite. Alright. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I Honestly, my mind's been like in 20 places during this episode, so I've just been kind of weird and like not focused. Oh god, I set off the spawner. Okay, um... Ah, oh, jeez. I need to break the spawner. 
Yeah, you burn. What? Wait, do you have fire resistance on or something? That's cheating. You're not supposed to be that smart. Um, Gem of the Samurai. Ooh, got stuff and things. Oh, even a block of iron. Wow, look at that. We paid it forward. <laughs> we got our iron back. Alright, cool. I'm gonna leave the stone shovel. Passing on that one. Anyways, um, look at that. We already got obsidian here from this law from this waterfall here. It's perfect. It's like it was meant to be. Just gonna light up the area a little bit. Uh, so when I come back later, there's less mobs. <laughs> and of course, there's a spawner here now, so. Or uh, there's one less a spawner here, I guess. No, words? I don't know. Anyways, like I was saying, my brain's just kind of like, today, so. It is like mashed potato. Excuse me, sir. I would like your, your, um, pearl, if you do not mind passing it my way. Um, hello? How dare you ignore me? You're gonna be like that boss that I just killed a minute ago, who had like 80 health. Alright. Oh jeez. Got another- got another volunteer. Hey, that's cheating. You can't duplicate yourself. Alright, we're good. Jeez. Okay, y'all mind if I just do some stuff down here? But yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna end the part here. Hopefully you enjoyed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time where we're gonna do some nether shenanigans. Because I'm finally gonna get some obsidian here. So, I'm gonna work on that. And I'll see you guys on the other side.